Welcome back viewers. Today we're going to look at some baggy C-3PO removable limbs figures. This one you can see is graded by CAS and it graded as an 85 plus so I'm pretty happy with that. But this figure, these two baggy C-3PO's I've had in my collection for a long time since about 1990 and uh, I will tell you the tale of um, getting these figures. They were um, purchased in uh, St. Louis, Missouri uh, in downtown St. Louis and um, I, I got them directly from the dealer who had a, I guess he had some, he rented a vacant office space. It was almost a whole floor, entire floor. I discovered him in Toy Shop Magazine and then on a trip to St. Louis with my mother, she I was this was before I could drive. I think I was in junior high school at the time, or I think it was in between uh, school years. It was in the summer. I think I was either in the eighth grade or uh, in between seventh and eighth grade, or uh, in between eighth and ninth grade. So, anyways, we go all the way down to downtown St. Louis. And um, it was kind of a, you know, shady area. And we get in an elevator. Uh, we, we had to buzz the uh, guy from the uh, elevator. And uh, I can't remember if it was like a freight elevator. But anyways, we went up. And it was a whole floor just full of vintage toys. Like everything you could imagine. Boxes full of them. And he and uh, he had like uh, overstock, I guess you would say, uh, referred to as overstock of these baggy figures. He had a lot of Luke uh, Hoths. He had R two D two sensor scopes, and he had a ton of C three POs. And um, my main purchase was a Hoth Ice Planet Adventure Set. I used my birthday money to get that. And I think he threw in some of these baggy figures just to sweeten the deal and get the price he wanted for it. Because um, I don't recall what I paid for them. And he had so many of them. He'd obviously had a connection to Kenner somehow. Um, and somehow had acquired all these baggy figures. It was truly amazing. And for that matter, all his, his the whole floor was just filled with vintage toy the toy line. He had Mego figures. He had Indiana Jones. He had a large size Indiana Jones figure, which I had never seen before in person. Just whatever you can imagine. It, it, imagine a whole office uh, floor with just boxes of uh, vintage toys. I've never seen the likes of it before or since that occasion. It could be that I'm mythologizing this memory, that it just seems bigger uh, in retrospect than it actually was, but it was. It really left an impression on me that out there in the world there can be these huge caches of vintage toys. And this was the early days of the secondary market from um, toys from the 80s and 70s and 80s you know this was 1990 so I think it was easier to come by vintage toys in, in those days than it is now so what about you viewers have you ever discovered a gold mine of vintage toys like that if so do you think that your memory is faithful or is it, does it exaggerate the actual scale of the phenomenon that you originally perceived? So thank you for watching. If you like this video, check out my other vintage Star Wars videos and like and subscribe. And please leave a comment. Thanks.